Okay, next up is this ZSH. We are now working in Bash. Bash is in the terminal. This is Bash, and if you like, you can go to ZSH. It has been installed already. It's only a question of matter if you want to use it. So the only thing you need to do is type sudo change the shell for me, eh, user login, minus s pin zsh, enter. Password, enter, and that's it. Now we have to log off and log on again in Windows Shift E. We're exiting our i3. And since we have an automatic log on again, so we're logging on again, huh? simple as that. Full screen mode again, view, host app it was, okay. So now everything is normal, that's the way it should look. And then we were testing our bash, so Windows 4 and Windows Enter, Super Enter. Mm -hmm. And we have now this line here, this line means that we are actually in ZSH. So pressing one of these things, you see I'm getting always another theme. So every time I press terminal, the, I've put the ZS, ZSH theming on random, which is for me, I like to change. So every time I see something beautiful or ugly, it depends what I get every time. So this is ZSH. And with Windows Shift Q, I can delete a few screens again. If you want, if you say, well, it's not my thing, and you have to change it again, sudo change shell for who, for Eric, minus s, small s, and then bin, slash, and we have a bash, and then you're back, oh, sorry, you're back, voila, shell changed, back in bash, when are you back in Bash? Uh, when you first log off again. So you have to do yes, exit i3 again, and then you're back in Bash. All right. Have fun using ZSH.